Love is God and God is love. A relationship without God is as good as using it because God is the foundation of love. Hello and welcome to this segment of Embrace. My name is John Nathan Owora. It's good to have you here. We have been talking parenting children. In the last episode, we looked at dangers to God's plan for family or God's plan of how family should look. Today, we are handling how can we make our families better? How can you make your family better as you parent? So there are six points I want to share with you. They are not exhaustive, no. They're not all, no, no, no. But I would love to share with you six points of how to make your family or how to make our families better. Proverbs chapter 18 verse 21 instructs us to speak words of encouragement. So speak words of encouragement to your father, to your mother, to your brothers, to your sisters. Speak words that lift them up. Speak words to encourage them. Speak words of encouragement to your family members. Avoid being negative. This is dangerous because it kills family. If you want to make your family better, speak words of encouragement. Number two, listen before you speak. You have two ears, you have one, uh, one mouth. So take keen interest in listening more than you speak. You have two ears that you can listen more and speak less. If you want to make your family better, listen more. Listen. Use your ears well. Listen. It's that important. Number three, Proverbs 17.22 says, A cheerful heart is good medicine. So number three, it's important for us to know that being happy in your family is key. Please be happy. Enjoy your family. Enjoy the fun in your family. And have joy in your family. You are the one that creates the fun in that family. Man, some families are so gloomy. A lot of gloom or gloominess in some families. You hear guys, you're there, no joking, no what. It is you who creates the, fam the fun in that family. So if you want to make your family better, be the center of joy in the family. Where everybody's gloomy, bring joy. Where everybody's not happy, bring happiness. Number four, Ephesians 4, 29 speak, says, speak words that will build. That you're speaking words of encouragement, yes, but they're speaking words that build others. Speak words that build your father. Speak words that build your children. Speak words that build your spouse. Speak words that build people in the family. Words like, I love you. It will build somebody. It will make somebody know that indeed they are loved. You are smart. When a child has put on smartly, they have tried their best. They could have not tied a shoelace. There could be dirt on a shirt somewhere. But you see generally that they are smart. Now, don't use this to tell a lie. A child, when they are smart, appreciate them. When they are not, correct them. So let's talk about speaking words that encourage people and build them. That's very, very important. You are smart. That's wonderful. Number five, pray for your family. Pray when you wake up in the morning, when you are away. Pray for your father. Pray for your mother. Pray for your sister. Pray for one another. I prayed for my three sisters. I didn't think they would turn out to be what they are today. They were, it was tough, but I prayed for them. You, on the other hand, you're complaining more than you are praying. Instead of complaining, pray more than you complain. Talk to God. Family starts in God. Family ends in God. Family starts with God. Family ends with God. So pray to God about your family. Pray, pray, pray. When there's joy, give thanks. When there are issues, pray. And lastly, know your role in the family. If you missed the previous episode about roles and responsibilities of different people in the family, please go get it. Please watch it. Know your role in the family and stay in your lane. Don't complain why so-and-so is not doing their work. You do yours and do it well. Do it well. Do, do your works, do your role so well that, that when people look at you, they're like, wow. Don't complain about what other people are not doing. Focus on yours. If yours is to, to clean the compound, do yours. If yours is to wash plates, do yours. Everybody will appreciate. And by the way, you'll make your family better. For example, my role in my family is buying food. I buy food 
whether it is cooked or not cooked, I buy the food. And I don't complain about, you know, why are the person not doing their role. I only speak to them to encourage them to do their role. So do your role if you want to make your family better and do your role very, very well. This will help us to train our children, to teach them and help them grow up into better family members. I pray the Lord blesses you. Take good care. Till we meet again in the next episode. Bye-bye.